back to my channel today is sunday today is wash day we're gonna get right into it doing a quick little updo with a side swoop bang um and that's really it i just wanted to do something real simple real easy real cute and then be done with it because i had a long weekend hello as always to my returning subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers let's go hair is already washed i'm putting in some leave-in conditioner this is the leave-in conditioner that i'm using today the myel seamoss collection okay as always rice water Right now we can put this back up. I'm gonna just comb it out a little bit. Normally I brush it, but I wanna stretch it. So I'm gonna kinda comb it. When I brush my hair, it um the clumps curl up tighter. So I'm gonna just use this wide tooth comb and comb it out. All right, so I think that's good enough. Now we're gonna go on with our gel, put everything up. This will probably be the last um, hairstyle that I do in terms of like having my hair up for a minute, especially when it's wet because I don't wanna get in the habit and you shouldn't either of putting your hair up constantly. Number one, just in ponytails all the time, Spike, you know, tight ponytails, all of that because that could break your hair off. Two, if your hair is wet, you definitely don't wanna do that. And my hair is wet right now. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing styles, you know, up styles. Smooth it. I'm being real gentle because this brush is hard. I didn't even know I had this brush. I just found it in my cabinet and it's a lot harder than my other board bristle brush. Okay. Put that away for a second. All right, we're gonna take it out because I want them, instead of going up, I want them going back. I don't know why I did it like that. Now we're gonna plot these down and then it'll look better. Yes. Here for a second and we're gonna connect it going this way. It doesn't have to be twisted all the way down because eventually we're gonna connect it into the ponytail. Looks a little bit rough. It looks like it's about to rain again. I'm glad I washed my car yesterday. This is what I'm talking about. It says it's like gonna rain all the time. I don't know what is going on. You see, this is gonna be kind of hard because even though I want it swooped to the side, you gotta have some way to connect it. I don't know. I'll figure that out when I get to it. Let's let's go ahead and brush it down. All right, nice and smoothed out. And this is gonna be nothing but gel. Oh, I know what I could. Well, I don't know. I got to see how that looks. I could connect it to these two pieces, but it's going to look kind of weird. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Just 
supposed to be going to the movies today but i don't know it's already 3 30 i mean it's not late obviously but i still have to cook and i'm supposed to be editing my car video that's the one that i filmed yesterday so i could get it out tomorrow oh this brush just putting some shining jam on top of the gel so it will really slick down this I might have to take out. Damn, I can't. I gotta use this brush right now. You see my forehead is making it so red. That brush is hard. Oof. Let's do this one and then when we're gonna clean it up, we'll go back to that, that blue brush because wow, this thing is hard. So, I'm gonna do it like that. And obviously all of this will be fixed. I'm not worried about this part. See, I could make that into a ponytail, but that's going to look kind of, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Let's see. Just going to clip it right here on the sides. That way it could just kind of dry the way I need it to dry. And I can fix it even more. Once it completely dries, because this right here just needs to be fixed. That's bothering me. I got to figure out if I'm going to swoop it this way or if I'm going to swoop it some other way. But it needs to just dry a little bit. It's too wet, and that's what the problem is right now. So now, let's go ahead and do the ponytail part. What we're doing with this is just regular curls. Brush them out. Go as high up to the um, ponytail holder as you can. That way the roots won't be puffy looking. Everything will just kind of blend in. Brush it out again. And you know you could just leave it like this. Once you brush it, just let it fall how it falls. But I'm going to shingle it out because I need it to be full. Last section. It's looking a little flat, I'm not gonna lie. But when it dries, it'll you know give me some type of volume, I hope. Cause Lord, I don't like this. Oh my gosh, my arm is be killing me. That's another reason why I'm like kind of gonna pause on these updos because the pain is just you can't work through it. You cannot work through it. You gotta, you gotta pause. You gotta sit there and wait. And then see, I don't want to rush my hair because my arms are hurting. <sighs> all right, last few sections. Thank God. Oh, all right, we're done. We're done, done, done with that ponytail. Just shake it up a little bit to kind of. I don't know. Just shake it up a little bit. Whatever. Look how look how small it looks. <laughs> yeah, I definitely gotta wait for this to dry so I can separate it out. But majority of the hair is right here in the front. And that's really what what's doing it. Look at this. I lost my edge brush. Like I don't know where it is. This is my old one, but this one is too hard. I just I don't know what happens to my stuff. I'm not trying to do too much. I just want to flatten it out a little bit because it's still wet. This section here, maybe we could pull it down a little bit just to kind of give some, um, I don't know, give some depth or something. I might pull it the other way. See, I can't really work with this edge brush. No. Ah, I need my other brush. This one is not it at all. Just trying to get it smooth here.
Okay, that's, that's something. It's not what I was trying to do, but whatever. Now I just gotta figure out how to blend this back section. Only thing I can do is put it in curls and then maybe just, yeah, that's what I could do. I can put it in curls and then just pin it up. It'll actually reach enough. So let's flip the ponytail over. And then this little back section right here. We'll really get that wet. Brush it out. This gotta be the quickest hairstyle I ever did. That's crazy. All right, I am not mad at it. Okay, just curl those pieces out a little bit. That's done. And then I'm gonna get a bobby pin, and I'm gonna just tuck it. Cause if I leave it, it's not gonna. It's gonna look weird. I think. Let me see. Let me see how it looks. Yes, definitely needs to be tucked up. <laughs> definitely. Ugh. All right, so that's what we did. So once this dries, it'll give me a little more volume. I can kind of pick it out a little bit. But y'all see what the hairstyle is. We got the two little parts of the sides. We got the swoop bang right here. I'm a, you can either leave these pin, these clips in, take them out, whatever. You have some fancy ones. I do have fancy ones, but I need to wait till it dries right now. It's just way too, too uh, malleable. I need to be stiff. We got the ponytail. That's what it looks like from the back. Um, it came out cute. Came out cute. It was fast. It was real fast. I was not expecting it to be this fast and this easy, but it's great. I hope I gave you a, another new hair inspiration. And um, that's about it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in my next video. I have time now to go get something to eat and then maybe go to the movies. If it doesn't rain, I don't know. Because I'm real tired. But we'll see. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.